we're at Contemporary Calgary in the Flanagan Gallery, and this is our exhibition, Three Dimensions. The exhibition is three installations chronologically laid out that are interconnected, that offer a wide variety of formats and mediums in an intermixed, interconnected manner. Balancing Act is an interactive kinetic installation. It features a large claw machine that the viewer is invited to operate. The viewer is able to lift the claw up and down, move it side to side, and pick up objects. They're going to stack and make shapes, and then maybe they're going to stop and wonder, do these look like the paintings that we've seen? Are the paintings surrounding the installation portraits? Are they idealizations? Or are they something that can only exist in the imagination because nothing could be stacked that way? Uh, opening up the realm of the fantastical or the playful, uh, but potentially something that's even uh, somewhat uh, tragic, which is never being able to attain the ideal representation. The next installation um, in our exhibition is THX 2020 and it features um, a number of paintings in progression, um, seemingly abstract, colorful paintings, maybe reminiscent of 60s or 70s book covers or um, design. They'll walk into um, a projection room and a narrative video unfolds. The individual under its influence will find it difficult to maintain a fabrication under questioning. That narrative video shows geometric forms and somewhat recognizable symbolic uh, abstract elements in constant animation on loop. Each subject is about uh, some potential substance that might alter behavior, might alter uh, human behavior or control it. So progressing from one end of the gallery all the way to the other and toward this yellow space. So the viewer is invited to sit down in front of a computer and don um, headgear or a, a helmet. And as the viewer watches the video or the slideshow playing on the computer screen, um, the computer can sense that the viewer is engaged in watching, and this causes the slideshow to be disrupted. That goes into a wildly frenetic video remix of everything that was seen before. So the video installation, the narrative video installation at the beginning of the show, the paintings that one walks through from the video room to the THX interactive installation, all of that is remixed. Is it like the mind? Is it like the way the mind uh, sorts and files images? Or is it symbolic of some kind of media saturation? Construction, deconstruction, transition of medium from video to painting to interactive remixed video, then to the room ABCD, which is where things get really weird because where does the show exist in ABCD? ABCD is an installation or environment where we are looking at time and space. You have the viewers transported back in time um, to experience the space without the art show. So in ABCD, we make the art show disappear. The one element in ABCD that's constant, whether you're experiencing the VR goggles, whether you're watching the video, or whether you're in the room itself, is the tree. It's a stylized tree. Um, it's angular and faceted. Um, so it's a tree that maybe belongs in the digital realm more than the natural world. And this tree is what makes you realize we're looking at temporal space. So ABCD, it's kind of like an artistic attempt at some kind of a quantum state of presenting art within a theater of the absurd 
uh, within a experimental multimedia, multi-format presentation. And that's kind of like what we've always been up to, is um, not necessarily pursuing just one medium. What's especially important to me is that the viewer is involved or engaged with the artworks. We're trying to ask questions and create a dialogue with the viewer. Um, so we want the viewer maybe to walk away with ideas that we didn't even think of when we were making the work. We want the viewer to give feedback and the viewer often completes the work. Maybe the exhibition asks more questions than it answers. Uh, but why would that be a bad thing?